What's up my shinies? My name is Kaiser. Welcome back to the Empire. We've got a new car, a new way to set the video up so it doesn't look like a Josh Fernstein video anymore. But you know what? It's exactly the same amount of fucking rage. So I'm going to link to the Young Turk cover of Young Turks coverage of this video down below. Um but here's the story. So in Southern California, this dumb bitch was going 60 miles an hour and she blew through a stop sign. Now, let's cover that for a second here before we get to the actual meat of the story. I've been in a lot of places and I've even been in California, Southern California to be exact. And you know what I've never seen? A fucking road that is 60 miles an hour is the speed limit and there's a fucking stop sign on it. You know why? Because there is no way in fucking hell you're going 60 miles an hour and going, oh, there's a stop sign. Skid! Dead! You are dead. So she blows through a stop sign going 60 miles an hour. Well, obviously, this is a cop's wet dream because now he gets two tickets for the price of one. I don't actually know if that's how it works, but we're going with it, right? So he flips on the sirens, she pulls over, and she starts crying to him. I'm a cheerleader. I've got perfect grades. My partner's a cop. Nobody gives a shit. All right, I am so sick of people trying to come up with an excuse for this kind of crap, right? Like, oh, oh, okay, cool. You're a cheerleader. I'm so sorry. That completely excuses the fact that you're drunk. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. She was fucking drunk. Let me let make something perfectly clear. If you are a drunk driver, I hate you. I fucking hate you. I am praying that every drunk driver out there wraps their car around a light post and hurts only themselves to the point where they can no longer drive. I hope you crash your car into a brick wall and they gotta cut off your legs and you can't fucking drive anymore. That is my hope. I hate drunk drivers. So anyway, cheerleader, nobody gives a shit. Good grades, nobody gives a shit. Because you know what? You didn't get, get grades on this fucking test right here. The test of intelligence on how to fucking drive. Oh, look at me. I'm going to drink and I'm going to go 60 miles an hour and I'm going to blow through a stop sign. I don't even know what the speed limit on that road is, but I can guarantee tee you that 60 miles an hour is at least 20 miles above the speed limit. At least 20 miles. And if I'm wrong, so what? Bitch was still drunk speed and blew through a stop sign. And the part about having a partner as a cop my father-in-law's a cop, all right? I, I'm actually, a lot of my in-laws are cops. I think I got about four or five of them. I can go up to any one of them and ask them, hey, if you found out that someone you pulled over had a family in the police force, would you care? You know what they're gonna tell me? Nope, not at all. Don't give a shit. You know why? Because it does not, you could be a cop. You could be a fucking cop. Your ass is still going in handcuffs. You're still going to get your fucking ticket taken care of. A cop does not get to go get drunk and then blow through a stop sign at 60 miles an hour. You don't get to do that shit, you dumb broad. But the fucking cherry on top of the whipped cream idiotic shit pie coming out of this bitch's throat. She goes, I am a thoroughbred white girl. What the fuck does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? Are you one of those people who, this, this is what gets me, right? So there are people out there who genuinely believe that if you're white, you can get away with anything, right? Whether you think that's true or not, there are people out there that believe this. And they get angry about it. So you know what? If it's true, who knows? I don't think it's true because I get in trouble all the fucking time. But that just could be because I have a smart mouth. But regardless, if it is true, these people at least get angry about it. Right? The people who think this is true, they at least have the fucking decency 
to think that this is unfair and it should not happen. And I can get behind that mindset. This fucking cunt decided, oh, look at me. I'm white so, and I believe that white people can get away with anything. So I'm gonna use it to my advantage. Fuck you, you dumb broad. Now I gotta sit here and feel like a dumbass and wanna fucking like take a lighter to my skin or something. Maybe I can be red instead of white because of your ass, I gotta be lumped in with you and the rest of the fucking racist ass rednecks out there. And that's another thing. What the fuck are you doing in California? Because only some stupid ass rednecks can say some shit like, I'm a thoroughbred white girl. Now thankfully, the cop was not a fucking retard and he was like, yeah, cool, you're, you're still going to jail. It, it, it's, that's the only thing I can fucking give this story, is that at least the cop wasn't a fucking retard. I give up sometimes, man. I fucking give up. People out there are like, I'm white! I just do anything I want now! Fuck you! If you think you can do anything you want, and you're a white person, I really, really hope you're in the car with the drunk driver who smashes into a brick wall and you have to have your entire body amputated. Like a torso and a head. That way I can hang you from the ceiling and use you as a fucking punching bag. Well, that's all for today's video. My name is Kaiser. Thank you so much for visiting me in the Empire. And I'll see you in the next one. And remember, stay shining.